Aloha. My name is Anne Ku. I teach a piano class at Maui College. Today I'd like to introduce Robert Pollock, the founder and artistic director of Ebb and Flow Arts. Robert, hello, how are you? Hi, Anne. Very well, thank you. Now, you founded this nonprofit organization mm -hmm. um, when you moved to Maui, and that was when? Moved in 1997, founded the organization in 1999. Right, and your first concert? July 1999. So that yeah. was just a few months before I met you on That's my first right. trip to Maui in 1999. Mm -hmm. Now, would you tell us more about Ebb and Flow Arts? Well, let me read the mission. The work of composers and artists is central for an enlightened culture. Ebb and Flow Arts enriches the soul of the community by educating children and by presenting contemporary music, art, and multimedia throughout Hawaii and the world. Functioning in an international network, Ebb and Flow Arts helps provide a staid, stage from which to inspire our culture to find new horizons. The key point being bringing the contemporary living composer and artist into the center of our culture. We find that uh, these days our artists are perhaps marginalized more than we'd like. So the, the focus is on that and feeling that by bringing the artists, so-called antennae of our race, into our central uh, culture, we will become a, a more a better guided as we evolve and deal with the great challenges ahead. And you're speaking as a composer yes. and a pianist. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year, you started a new event, uh, many, pian many Hands on Many Pianos, is that right? That's right, yeah, and we, it was very successful. This event uh, occurred and will occur again at the Maui Music Conservatory. That's the second floor of the Kahamana Mall. Mm -hmm. Uh, just opposite, across the street from the college. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a very successful event, and so we're repeating the concept again on July 14 at 7.30 p.m. It's a free admission event. Mm -hmm. We uh, believe in offering barrier-free events to the public. So are all your concerts free? All of the concerts this season in our series, which uh, your audience can check out on www.ebbandflowarts.org, all of them are free, and that's thanks to support from such foundations as AHS Foundation, uh, also government support from Maui County, Office of Economic Development uh, with the Hawaii Tourism Authority, Edward T. Cohn Foundation, Aaron Copeland Fund for Music, BMI Foundation, Roger Shapiro Fund for New Music, John R. Halligan Charitable Fund, Fred Baldwin Memorial, foundation, many private contributions and volunteer help, and others. So that's how we can make the events free. This is very interesting. So all these foundations believe in your philosophy and goals of extending out to as many people as possible and also the expression of the artist. Uh, expression of the artist, particularly modern. Modern art, artists, the, living, the living Copeland artists. The Copeland Fund, the Cohn Foundation, so forth. They specifically fund modern music. Modern music. Yeah. Um, the word modern sometimes yeah. is a little bit intimidating, other than mm. pop music or mm. jazz, I suppose. And I like to say that I was um, very thankful that you organized uh, my first concert in 2007. Mm -hmm. And last year, uh, my piece, Three on One, which we can hear uh, in a moment, yeah. uh, I wasn't able to participate in right. uh, in the many pianists, but my colleague Karen Saring did get to perform, mm -hmm. and she played this piece. She did. Together with you and... Actually, it was uh, Beatrice Scorby and Lotus Dancer. Lotus Dancer. And Karen Saring. All right, yeah. play this piece. Yeah. yeah, this piece I wrote for, for three pianists on one piano, mm -hmm. and we first tried it out in Italy, mm -hmm. uh, five composers sight reading it, and then it was performed again at UH Manoa, actually, uh, yeah, uh, a few years ago. But, mm -hmm. um, so, as it, and, and I heard that was a great turnout. It was, it was yeah, standing it was very, room very only. Yeah, very good turnout, very good turnout. So we, there's a lot of interest in it. The Maui Music Conservatory is unique in that it holds probably a dozen pianos, last count, and that's always changing. There's a kind of revolving door of pianos going in and out. but. 
Uh, it's the only facility on the island where we could do such a thing. Luckily, its owner, Ruth Marata, uh -huh. has been very generous and helpful in opening up for rehearsals. And now we have a nice setup, I think, for the four pianos. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, 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 I tried to get my students to all play together. Mm. And it's really difficult for pianists to play together because the minute mm. we press on it, it goes boom, 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 boom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's hard to get uh, uh, ensemble, but we, as you know, we've been working hard at it. We started uh, some months ago yeah. in rehearsing, and that, I believe in that kind of thing, too. Let's talk about the program. Yeah, the program has for something for... the 14th for, of July. So it has something for everyone, and that's my feeling about 20th century music. You mentioned the intimidation factor about modern music. Uh, this is a unique time in music in which so many different styles and approaches yeah. exist simultaneously. And our program reflects that. We've got some very classic pieces like Gabriel Fauré, mm and Maurice Ravel, mm -hmm. uh, Mother Goose Suite. These are kind of by now classical music. We are celebrating French music in the program in that it happens to fall on French Independence Day, July 14th. July 14th. Bastille that's... Day. And bombing the Bastille, I guess that's with Millot at the end. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower and other uh, portraits of scenes from Paris, yeah. locations in Paris. It's a wonderful four piano piece. Yeah. The beauty of the program, I think, in part, is that it, these are original compositions right. for four pianos. We don't have any transcriptions. And, um, and again, if you like John Cage, who will be a, would have been 100 years old mm. this year, we've got a piece by him, including muted and inside the piano work. Uh, for four of us together. Yeah, that's where we, we start with that piece yes. because we need to spend some time putting things inside the piano. Yeah. <laughs> it takes quite a while. And yeah. then you'll hear all sorts of textures coming out of the piano you wouldn't otherwise. Mm -hmm. So we're all playing different things. Yes. Yeah. And there, there may be room for audience participation. Audience in that participation one, that, for that. That, that one, would be fun. That one piece. That to open. We, yeah. Right. What we're hearing yeah. right now is yes. a clip of the Feldman piece. Yes. Now that's a very interesting piece in that we're all playing the same notes, mm -hmm. but we're not playing them at the same time. We right. get to decide when we play. Yes. Right? And, and the only proviso is that you all start together. We all start together with the same note and also play very softly. Interestingly, I just read program notes where Feldman said, it's best if the pianists don't listen to one another. <laughs> That, yes, because not I, usually for all the other <laughs> pieces, we have to listen to each <laughs> yeah. other. But this one, the only stipulation is what we start at the same time with the first note, right. and it's going to last, what, five minutes, five Maybe to seven, seven minutes? Maybe five to seven, something like okay, that. Okay, so yeah, we yeah. each have to study it to make sure yeah. that we give it about seven minutes mm -hmm. duration. We're also preparing a video that will go along with that, so that will be a little bit of a multimedia selection something that Eben Flo Arts has done and will do, by the way, July 28, our July last 28th. performance will be multimedia originals. So you have art, art, video, video. dance, music, uh, colored lighting, um, and um, uh, original librettos uh, wow. that we uh, enact, and in so-called stage composition. Stage composition, so it's yeah. improvisation? There is improvisation, although there, as I say, there's a, there is a set script, mm. you know, and a lot of it does have to be very well planned technically, technically. in terms of timing of lighting and so forth. But yeah, and there will be hula ki'i, the tr Hawaiian puppet tradition, oh. and Francis Kane, who's a master, Bob, I, I'm sorry I said that, Frank, he doesn't <laughs> like it when I say that, but he will be operating puppets throughout as a unifying device. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Wow. So but getting back to July 14th, July 14th it's a free yes. event I'm gonna put this. Uh, at the Kahumano Center, second floor, the Maui Music Conservatory, 7.30 on July 14th. Mm -hmm. We hope uh, all of your listeners and viewers will attend. Well, I... We've been practicing. I'm one of the pianists. Um, <laughs> so four, five, six of us, we've been practicing yeah. every Sunday, getting together our three hours on a Sunday afternoon. And then we're also debuting a new piece by Thomas Osborne. That's right. Uh, there will be a world premiere by the composer from Honolulu, who teaches at the University of Hawaii, Thomas Osborne.
Mm -hmm. He's written a piece commissioned by Eben Flo Arts mm -hmm. entitled Canyons for Four Pianos. Oh, that's, yeah, that's very exciting, and we're going to yeah. be rehearsing that. Yeah. So, thank you, Robert. Thank um, you very much. I just much. like the, um, I just hope everybody will come, come early. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Saturday, 14th of July at 7.30 at, uh, at the Maui Music Conservatory, which is second floor of mm -hmm. the Queen Ka'ahumanu Mall. That's right. Uh, it's a free event, and you'll hear lots and lots of pianos being played mm -hmm. at the same time. <laughs> we end with uh, Paris uh, by Darius Mio, different places in Paris, ending with the Eiffel Tower. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Nana mai ni o ko yamuse tive kapunai vele kiwi o kikula nui o maui.